Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a custom uh, boot screen to your 3D running uh, custom firmware. We will start from these sample images and we will create a Photoshop project with those configurations. I would call it this and we are ready to go now you can uh, design whatever you want this will be the size of the top screen so I will grab this photo this is uh, some stuff from Evangelion and I will make sure the edge match the canvas if it's too big, you will shrink it. If it's too tiny, you will stretch it. Also remember that the image you put in this template depends on the pixel density you choose when you created the image. I mean when you created the Photoshop project. There I selected the default pixel density, so keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save the Photoshop project. I will use the same folder as before. Also, I will save the image as a PNG uh, resource so I can convert it to bin format, which is what the 3DS loads in the Luma boot screen. Now, with our PNG image just created, we will go to this site. The link will be in the description down below. And I will go ahead and load my top screen splash. Make sure that you load the image you just created and not the image you started with. Also, make sure your image is rotated and go ahead and download the bin file. You have to name it splash that bin or it won't work now as i like to break things i will make a copy of this and i will name it uh, splash bottom dot bin just to see what happens if you use a bin file that doesn't match the screen size now i will go ahead and put the micro SD card on the computer and I will put both files in the Luma folder if you already have uh, those files go ahead and overwrite them Finally, remove the micro SD card and let's see how this loads in the 3DS. Both screen is screwed up because we didn't uh, make it in the correct size, but we nailed the top screen. Now we need to get serious and properly do the bottom screen. Let's get rid of this and in my case I will start the bottom screen with the Maggie system. So let's start another Photoshop project this time with this size also I will select 16 bits just to try and let's name this bottom now I will go for my bottom image and I will load it into Photoshop so that I can shrink it properly again I will take care of the edges and again I will save this as both a Photoshop project and a PNG image. Now again for PNG, I will overwrite my old image, and we are almost done. I will get rid of the initial top screen image as we don't need it anymore, 
now I will take my bottom screen PNG image and I will turn it into a VIN file using the website we used before. Remember the image must be rotated. Click on download your VIN file and I will name it splash bottom. In the last step we will take this file uh, we just created and put it in the micro SD card. Remember both files go in the Luma folder. I will overwrite both of them with the new ones and we're ready to test this in the 3DS. Nailed it. Now remember you can customize this wherever you want, you just need to work a little more on the Photoshop. And this is a custom theme I did myself too, uh, it's inspired on Patapon, uh, so well, that's, that's it. Just in case you wonder, this was recorded using Luma 6.6 .6, and this is my setup. Well I hope you find this useful and if you did, please hit that like button and see you next time. Bye!